the battlefield has changed. Drones are now one of the most effective and lethal capabilities to attack infantry dismounts and infantry fighting vehicles of today. Can be advised, uh, enemy activity 250 meters to 1,000 meters to our And it's time we woke up to this threat. Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, and thank you again for joining me on today's video. Make sure to click that little like button, it really does help me and the algorithm, so thank you for those who have been supporting my channel. And if you're new to the channel, of course, hit that little bell by the subscribe button. So drones, let's talk about them a little bit more in depth today, but specifically alongside the CV-90 platform. Of course, you do know that I'm a fanboy of CV-90 and the BAE Systems Hagelands vehicle. It is an incredible platform, first hand. Uh, being able to shoot and drive it in Sweden. I was given the honor with BA Systems of going there, but I've already done a video on that today, and what I want to focus a little bit more on in this video is how structured the vehicle is to engage drones. Now, I mentioned in the beginning of the video how much we do need to take this more seriously, and I truly do feel uh, across the board we are not addressing the... I would say somewhat gap between short-range air defense and long-range air defense, and the, I would say, intimate air defense we're talking about drones that are coming within 20 to 25 meters above you uh, without being seen in an infantry fighting vehicle now the cv-90 is a very well protected vehicle very well structured to support infantry in a protected encapsuled area in the back in the fighting crew compartment but any crew compartment can be engaged with the right type of projectile drop from above and we're seeing this footage very sadly and unfortunately in places like Ukraine where a simple three to four hundred dollar drone is dropping a projectile that can take out a BMP2, a BMP3 and in some cases if hatches are left open which we continually seem to see uh, the entire vehicle of a main battle tank because of course once a incendiary round of some kind gets inside the, the hatch or the turret compartment uh, with ammunition inside there you're done for uh, and as i said doesn't matter how much protection you put on the outside of a vehicle if you don't protect from above uh, and you know plug all the gaps so to speak you're going to be in a lot of trouble and drones are taking full use of that weakness whether it be discipline from the crews or inherent design of the vehicle these drones are taking out millions and millions of dollars of equipment from just a simple little grenade being dropped on top. Now, the footage you're looking at right now is Urban Warfare conducted um, by BA Systems. It's a promotional video. It's absolutely fantastic. It gives me hairs on the back of my neck for sure. And of course, I would love to come visit um, BA Systems Huglands again and see what other adventures I can get up to with them. But they showed me this video and it really spoke to me because as much as the glory of seeing the CV-90 punching through walls and blasting things and supporting the infantry, the footage of the drone really kind of spoke to me and scared actually the living crap out of me. I'm going to be dead straight with you. If I was in my warrior in Afghanistan and I knew that the Taliban could operate drones uh, at the level of skill that we're seeing in places like Ukraine, I would absolutely be terrified because at times you never even know if there's one above you. You've got to think when you look at this footage, people are saying, well, well they can't, you can't hear it above you, you can't see it above you. No, you can't. When you're having a 800 horsepower engine running beside you and headset on with your crew, it's quite difficult to hear the tiny little blades of an electronic motor 50 meters above your head. Uh, if you're a dismounted infantryman, things are a little different. But as a armored fighting vehicle crew member, the most positive way of getting engagements to be seen or looking around your vehicle uh, whether it be binoculars or whatever else is outside of the hatch having your half hatch as we call, call it you know kind of giving half your torso out the top looking around giving that full situational awareness that is something these drone operators exploit right and you can't hear these things even the big ones right you're wearing a lot of equipment and ppe that is preventing you from hearing them but cv90 has designed a number of systems that are helping protect crews from this credible threat. And it is a credible threat. We've got to stop thinking everything so symmetrical uh, on the battlefield, right? It's not just horizontal engagements, even top-down attack missiles, you know, all this stuff that we're thinking that's so highly sophisticated, yet a little DJI drone 
uh, with, a, with a couple of hand grenades on it can really do some serious damage. Maybe not a K kill, right? Maybe an M kill, right? These vehicles have rubber tracks. It doesn't take much to pop one of those tracks off of a well-placed drone. Uh, it doesn't have to be one dropped from above. We're seeing, you know, kamikaze-style drones. These things are very credible. And I don't think NATO and the Western allies are taking a huge fascination into it. I think we're sort of looking at it, we're sort of making some active protection systems, but nowhere near on the scale on which BA systems have plugged into the CV-90, whether it be its radar, uh, its hard kill, soft kill, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really interesting. And I was given a first-hand um, presentation by the development team at BA Systems to showcase what CV-90 can do. But I did find some really interesting footage and a video that I'd like to just kind of look over with you and give my comments towards the end. And we'll talk a little bit more in-depth about why CV-90 is taking such strides in defending against drones. The large increase in usage of unmanned aerial systems, UASs, is both an asset and a threat. Different classes of UAVs or drones can be used to observe, acquire targets, act as weapons platforms, or be equipped with an explosive payload for a sacrificial operation, loitering munition. All are considered aerial threats. The ability to effectively engage air targets is a proven and prominent feature of all CV-90s. This originates from the main sight and fire control system. The long and close cooperation between BAE Systems Haglands and Saab has fully explored the capabilities related to the main sight. The weapon system, together with the UTOS site, with its unique features and other integrated sensors, provides a very good and reliable high-performance anti-aircraft capability. The CV-90 system is based on deep-level integration of several advanced sensors that are able to detect UAS targets. The CV-90's ability to defeat small, high-flying, unmanned aerial systems ties together both general anti-aircraft and defensive aid suite capabilities. The panoramic site with built-in image processing can autonomously search for aerial targets. The radars also detect any aerial targets. The actual defeat of the UAS is performed with the sophisticated weapon system of the CV-90. 30, 35 and 40 millimeter programmable air burst munition is used to take the targets out of the sky. The CV-90 effectively denies UAVs to come close, both with the main gun and also with the active protection system. The portee of the CV-90's weapons creates a large aerial denial zone where all targets can be engaged. The real-time threat-sharing capability of the DOS system immediately distributes potential targets that can be engaged by different CV-90s. This further extends the aerial denial zone. Recent and future threats of loitering munition that is foreseen to often attack from high elevation will be defeated by high energy directed weapons like laser. The CV-90 is designed to stay relevant and capable over time and has within its base unmatched means of signature management and add-ons like the thermal camouflage system adaptive that increases the counter UAS capability even further. The CV-90 is well equipped and relevant for operations in all environments and scenarios and will defend itself and if necessary destroy a wide range of targets including small unmanned aerial systems. So why is it that this video speaks out to me and why am I so focused and hooked on this particular platform? And many of you are probably screaming at the screen right now saying, well, of course, Matt, you got invited to BA Systems. Of course, you're going to want to love the CV-90 and BA Systems. No, guys, I'm going to be dead straight here. This is not bias. I truly do feel the BA Systems is taking drone threats extremely seriously, more so than I would say across any other spectrum of the defense sector for infantry fighting vehicles specifically. Um, there are others out there for sure, but 
the technology that's been shown in this video I've seen firsthand, and the sighting system alone uh, is incredible. Looking through the optics, in this video, in all honesty, it doesn't do its justice. I think the pixelation is just due to the way they're trying to film it. But looking through the sights and engaging targets and selecting that aerial burst mode with that beautiful gun, that gun, oh my god, it, it was a lot of fun firing it. Um, but it, you could just tell that the vivid, clear picture that you were getting would be able to identify those really small little pain-in-the-ass drones that could get into your airspace and cause you some serious problems. And when you're looking and scanning for targets like this, you want to have the most clear picture you can find. And as I said, this footage is really not doing it any justice. Uh, but you can still see from quite some distance away there, there is a drone and very quick and easy to engage with that gun. That's why I really like what BA systems are doing here. It's not always about the gun, the active hard kill, soft kill protection, the actual projectiles taking on the drone. It's detection, and that is the biggest problem that they're finding in operational deployments, specifically Ukraine right now, is finding these things, seeing them in the sky. They're very difficult for the human eye to see at very high altitudes. As they slowly come down, they can sometimes be heard, but in a crew setting, they can't be. You know, you hold down, if they're coming from above, it's very challenging. With systems like this, with radar detection, uh, and with that gun that's very easy to identify the target, Engaging it's simple, okay? The projectile bursts in fragmentation all over the place. That's not the problem. You know, this gun can take out anything that's in the sky. In all honesty, it can take out helicopters. I mean, if it's fast enough to trace and track, it could probably take out a fast jet moving very, very quickly uh, at low altitudes. Be a really good shot to do so. But it's the detection that is really setting this aside. And also that elevation capability. The gun can elevate nice and high, taking up to class three and four UASs at 4,000 meters with radar detection on the same instance. So the other thing I really like about this system, it's able to network um, and detect and share information to other units around the area. It's not always you that may detect the threat that is coming towards you. It may be your, your oppo, your, you know, your battle buddy vehicle, and this just creates more situational awareness, which is critical when dealing with these pesky little buggers. For instance, this CB-90 is observing its battle arcs, whichever direction it may be looking right now. However, it's already got the information to preemptively prepare for that loitering munition or that reconnaissance drone in the background because another vehicle has identified it. So that networking of information and imagery across these very sensitive optics and, uh, you know, guidance systems is really crucial and that creates that bigger broader band of protection around a battle group and of course they have just basically not being able to be seen this technology is very interesting i would love one day to get up close and personal and see it more but cv90 has truly taken the uav and drone risk very seriously and i love the fact that they've promoted and highlighted this at high level because i truly don't think when we look at some of these newer platforms coming out today they're taking it very seriously we we have atgms we have you know um the ability for dismounts to get in and now you know even ied protection which is a in the grand scheme of things nowadays not as high level or high risk as the threat from above you know in afghanistan the threat was from below under the ground with improvised explosive devices now we have improvised drone devices just causing absolute havoc on armored fighting vehicles and in trench warfare that we're seeing across in ukraine so hats off to ba systems and many of you are probably saying i'm very triggered in the fact that i may have bias towards ba i don't i i just really found that this video was quite fascinating i've actively operated a cv90 and looked through its optics and seen what those rounds can do uh, and how vivid and how clear and crystal clear those systems are that have those optronics in there and i would love to see how the radar links to all this um, but we do know that cv90 this isn't new there's been a lot of older systems that cv90 has used uh, that are just as good at knocking out drones and low-flying aircraft so really interesting stuff folks i hope you enjoyed today's video please leave me a like and a comment i'd love to hear what you think about this and uh, let's get some discussion going on in the comment section please feel free to click that little bell by the subscribe button all the best bye bye